guys. I'm not even sitting down for too long and boom, that a mosquito bite me. Imagine me there at Jamaica site, dengue all along. Come on, Mexico, can catch dengue? Say hi to my vlog, I'm on YouTube. Hey! <laughs> I've been in Jamaica, beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you so much. 40 pesos, porque soy turista. Perfecto. Mm. Is it better with the lime? Yeah. Okay. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. The good and the bad. The mess, the beauty, the joy. And that's what I have always been ashamed of. And now it's like, you know, it's like that saying, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Ooh. Well, I'm finally taking my leave from the Mayan monkey. It was good while it lasted. Now I'm heading to Cancun. Stay in Cancun. To loom, so stay tuned for that. So we're still on the side where Mayan Monkey is. We're gonna cross the road and take one of those buses to downtown Cancun. That is the Mayan monkey right there. That's the bus that you take to get there. That's the bus stop and that's the Mayan monkey. I'm at the bus stop waiting and I asked this lady which bus takes me to Tulum and she said, Ere Uno. I asked her, Tulum, Ere Uno or Ere Dos? She said, Ere Uno. So guys, my Mexican, this Cali. Hey guys, so the bus just dropped me off here. That was both. I don't know, 20 25 minutes drive. He said the driver said this is Tulum, but somehow I don't think this is Tulum, so let me see. I just asked a lady and she's saying I'm supposed to go up that bridge and go across to over there to get something to Tulum, which means I would be going the opposite direction. Someone understand? May I go back where may I come from? The ride to downtown Tulum was uh, about two hours or a little over two hours but it was a comfortable ride. The bus has AC, Wi-Fi, a charging port. There was a comedy on. Granted it was in Spanish but it was a popular comedy. The only thing is that they double booked my ticket number. They gave another girl my ticket number so she came to me while I was in my seat and she was saying that she, I was in her seat but the driver sorted out that but 10 out of 10 recommend using the other bus. I think the cost of the ticket was um, $17 if I remember correctly. Okay guys, so we are at the terminal in downtown Saloon. Uh, I'm out on the other side. I'm not sure if I should take a taxi or I should walk. Uh, let's see. So this is the other side of the terminal downtown Saloon. There are some taxis there. I'm wondering if I should ask one of them to take me to the place because the videos I've watched says that the place is a 20 minute walk from here but let me google it and see what it's saying guys i decided to take a taxi because it's late it's late and um i'm not sure of the area so i, I don't want to get lost or anything so better safe than sorry initially when i approached the taxi and i asked him how much to go to where i wanted to go he was like 300 pesos and I said mm -mm. Um, granted I didn't know whether it was, this was a good price or not but always 
packle or a ball on the price and he, you know if I teach him and teach said him he was like okay 150 pesos so you see he cut the price in half right he was trying to double the price on me so I was like okay let's go but the thing is that I did not have any change so I definitely recommend that you guys get a lot of pesos when you're going there you can have USD but get more pesos than USD and make sure you get small change as well because I ended up paying him 10 USD because I didn't have any change guys we are here where is it Change. No, sorry. Un <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow they have yoga class in a cenote plus breakfast <laughs> and Selena Beach at US um, for USD thirty five dollars. I think a lot. Common area, kitchen. Oh, the man give me something. I'm put it in my bag. One, two, twenty four. How lovely is that, though? <laughs> How lovely is that? Two twenty four. Two twenty four. Looking for two twenty four. Two twenty four. Two twenty four. Two. Oh my god. Two twenty four. But did he give me a card to get into the room though? Guys, I'm not even sit down for too long and boom, that a mosquito bite me. Imagine me there at Jamaica site, then get all and come on Mexico can catch dengue. No, go on. No, go on good. But, buying that up. Uh, we're gonna get some food. Let's go. Know who is going to come and get ice cream? Oh, today is Sunday. We should not get ice cream today, but not right now. Just not right now. So I'm like a mad on you, so I'm gonna see what's up. Oh, see people there. Oh, what at Burger King? Happy boy, Burger King. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
and how far me have to go. Um, if me have to cross the road, cause me and road cross is not good enough. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna go to the beach. I went to Chichen Itza. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. So I'm just gonna find a beach to just like There is relax. a public beach to the, to the end, to the left. Okay. So you turn around, I'll show you. At least you get an idea. You got mosquitoes? Yeah, um, this is, they don't like you. But there's all over right now. Gracias. There's a kind. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Jamaica. No way. Yes. Sanas. Uh, Kingston. Kingston and Kingston. the other side. I live Where in Jamaica. Get one of the, you live in Jamaica? Yeah, two years. Okay. That's We're in Jamaica. And, uh, oh my I live God. in San Jose. Okay. I live in the other side. Beautiful. That's great. Yeah, I lived there for two years. A friend of mine, the one who brought me there, uh -huh. he was living in seven years. But we moved back to the pandemic. Oh, okay. He moved back to Mexico. Can I get that in there? The, the box spray. Yes, they have there. Okay, I'm going to get one yeah, because yeah, yeah. they've been biting me. This will uh, okay. help right now, but you'll need it. Okay. For sure, it's like the season, you know? Oh my gosh. How long are you going to You say Tuesday? Yeah, I leave on Tuesday morning. Chedrawi? Mm hmm So to the end is about one kilometer and then you go over like two kilometers is uh, all this area is a public beach. Okay. I mean they don't charge you to get in only a bracelet 58 pesos. Mm -hmm. They charge you the police uh, which is the guard right here and they have the other station here. Okay. So they have this is the ruins. Okay. But uh, if you want to go to this area most of them they charge you like 50 bucks, like a flight for drinks or food, mm -hmm. but it's like the minimum consume. Okay. And this one, you don't need to. You can walk over, you can take a bike, or uh, well, if you I go on the ATVs, you gotta go around. I, I walk. Laughing. Guys, Quan says <laughs> in Jamaica he gets squeezed into the taxi. <laughs> I'm actually looking for something to eat. You wanna eat, like, would you like to eat something like a I like burgers. Burgers? What's that over there? It says BP. Okay. What's BP? Okay, over there is uh, Boston Pizza. Oh, okay. So now, if you want burgers, mm -hmm. you gotta go to the 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. And it's like four blocks down there. Mm -hmm. On the main drive. Mm -hmm. you turn to the, the other one is the smokehouse. The smoke I saw that on Google, but I, I can't find it. It's on the corner, by the way, before it's next to 7 Eleven. It's a smoking house. Mm. That's that's the closest. It's only three blocks. Okay. Actually, before you get to the stoplight, uh -huh. is the, the burgers, the smoke on the left, and then it's 7 Eleven next to next to the wall. Okay, okay. So it's very, very close. That's very close for you. All right, so I think and I'm that's going a smoking to... house. They have all kinds of stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to that. What's your name? What? Chantel. 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 Oh, yeah. Chantal. It was Have really a, nice meeting you. It's a pleasure, Amida. Right. Take to care. Mexico. Bye. Bye. You want to say hi to my vlog? I'm on YouTube. Hey! <laughs> I'm in Jamaica. Beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you so you guys, much. You guys, I love Jamaica. Take Very care. Easy. All right, fun. <laughs> so nice talking to Quan and everything that he had to say about Jamaica and he was telling me a lot about um, Mexico I'm actually heading back now
¿Qué es el favorito? <laughs> what is the everybody's favorite? What is the best? Ah, brisket. What's brisket and pastrami. Where is that? Um, can I get a sloppy joe? Fries. And uh, agua? Agua, fries. Si. Sí. papas y agua. Si. so I can take a pill. I have a terrible headache. Terrible, terrible headache. Um, but I wanted to go to the beach today, but last night talking to Juan, he made me realize that the Mother Nature statue is actually in Tulum. That's that statue with the big, the wooden statue with the woman like she's opening her heart or whatever you want to call it. I'm wondering if I should go, but I have a terrible headache or if I should um, just go to the beach today. But the great news is that I thought my flight was at eight in the morning, which means I would have to get to the, I would have to leave here by four. But my flight is actually at 11 a.m., which I'm so happy for. I don't have to leave extra early. Anyways, I hope you guys are hearing me. I'm gonna get some breakfast. Come with me. This breakfast is served on floor RG, so that's where we're going now. I just saw this sign to say that why like, there is no hot water because I was definitely going to put that in my room. They have the restaurant and bar, so we're gonna get some breakfast now. Is that the exit in the staff? Yes, it is for myself, but they are travel legs. Oh. Oh, no, it came with, uh, and beans. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like that. You want to travel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, like an orange or pineapple? Uh, orange juice. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want a breakfast here or is it? I'll take it. Okay, if you want me, if you want, uh, I can. I'm not sure where I'm sitting yet. Okay. napkin for the knife and fork? You put it on the table just like that? Um, I can put it in a napkin. Yes, yes. Guys, I just confirmed in the information with front desk. Uh, there is a, there are some buses on the corner called the Collectivo. So it's 20 pesos, that's what he said. It's 20 pesos in front of the stop sign. And uh, takes me to Selena, Tulum. And then I can, because I have the handband for here, I can get access to the beach. So let's go. Colectivo. Okay. Yes. Uh, Costo Selina. Yeah. Costo. Forty pesos. Oh, 
No, gracias. ¿Dos pesos colectivo? No. no. 20 pesos colectivo. 20 pesos trabajador. Sure if you guys heard that, but there are two taxi, a taxi man and a taxi woman. I tell me, say, I'll fart it all. When the man in the, the place just tell me, say, I twenty dollars. Them I said for the, them I tell me, say, for locals, it's twenty dollars. So make us see. Make look for the bus. The guy said, um, the collective bus them had that much to take. So make us see who I uh, who I miss from here. So, repeat, por favor. Porque solo vas a estar ocho días acá o una semana de visita. Sí. Tuviste, sí, tuviste visita en Tulum y yo. Tú como en Canadá y yo. Por ti pesos, porque soy turista. Perfecto. Mm. Mm -hmm. So here he's trying to convince me that even if I went to Canada or New York, it would be the same thing. I wouldn't pay the same fare as the locals that live there. But I decided to go with them. First of all, they're not taxi men or taxi. They seem like they're the operator. So they would be like what we call in Jamaica loader man or loader woman. So they they use their walkie talkies and they call the bus or tell the bus like, hey, we have two persons here, five persons here that need pick up and that's what happens. Here I was just mapping out my route to get to the airport and what it would cost me. So I was just using information from him to map out my route to get to the airport. Okay, so the bus just let me off across the road. Uh, this is Selena Tulum. So I'm just gonna go across and tell him that I'm going to the beach. Listen, I literally went out there to just touch the water for a couple seconds and I turned around immediately. I spent most of the day in the lounge chair just watching persons, you know, on the beach, just basking in the moment. At one point, I fell asleep in the lounge chair, mute my black, black skin, a sunbeard. I didn't wake up until I feel the sun and pelt my skin. But there are other persons down there from my hostel because it's the same hostel, just different location. But you get access to the beach with your handman. I'm not sure about the restaurant, but you get access to the beach, the pool. There are persons down there, you know, selling um, costume jewelry, um, massage, paid massage and all of that. But I was just enjoying my time until it started to drizzle and I had to pack up and I left down there at about 5 p.m. Guys, I am just getting back to the hostel. I left the beach at about 5 30 and i was on the roadside for 
an hour and a half before I got something and I had to take a taxi because the collectivos apparently are for local persons so they don't really stop for tourists. I'll, I'll, do some, I'll do a video about that. Well, I'll put that somewhere else in the video. But I had to stop a taxi and I stopped one taxi before and he was like, he was like, um, $300 and I'm like, okay, US and he was like, $20. And I say, I'm not pay 20 US, we we'll go right up the so. We will and I really, really right up the so. But so I make him go on, who time to make him go on? The next one that comes at 400 pesos. So I said, no, he said, all right, how much I want to pay? I said, 200, he said, no, 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 300. I said, all right, because it was night and I was on the side of the road by myself and it wasn't well lit or anything. I did some videos, but because of the SD card um, thing, those have been corrupted as well. Guys, I tell you, this SD card business is stressing me out. But I'm back at the hostel now. I'm gonna grab a shower, grab something to eat, pack my suitcase for tomorrow, and do all of that. After I finished showering and I was heading to get something to eat, I saw my roommate and he said that, yes, he said that um, a bunch of them were headed to do taco night, so they were gonna hop some taco stands, and I decided to join them. Here we were doing introductions, so you say your name, where you're from, and something special about you. So we were getting to know each other. There was somebody from New Zealand, America, Argentina, <laughs> France. Um, some ladies that seem from America, but one of them seemed like they were from another country. I didn't get their country. And I'm tacos, though. Okay. We have various places, so we can watch here, take a look, then we go to the other, and then decide where we want to go. But all of them are very good. There was a good wait time even before you placed your order you had a good wait time and then after you placed your order it was even longer and we noticed that there were persons who were getting served before us um, which was ridiculous but we still waited and um, persons in the group they were just talking and getting to know each other talking about work um, where they lived and all of that. I wasn't really doing much talking. I didn't talk unless persons actually asked me things. This was my first time being in the company of so many persons from so many different countries and then you have the accents and all of that. Um, listen, do not ask me what are these sauces that I'm putting on the tacos. I was just taking recommendations from the Mexican guy and the Argentinian guy. And let me tell you, it was. I just told them I didn't want anything spicy, and they told me what to put on my taco. And let me tell you, these are five tacos for plus cheese because the tacos itself, I think, is 55 pesos plus cheese, so it was about 70 pesos. And let me tell you, so they were busting, they were A1, especially when you squeeze the lime on it, they were just so good. I wish I could have bought more, but. I didn't want to overdo it, but they were really, really good. And we took our tacos and just went across the road and we sat on this pizza and they were just talking and giving jokes and who, which journey, where persons have been before, some of the best hostels and all of that. And we were just chilling and having a vibe and it made me, this was my last night in Tulum and it made me just want, it made me wish that I would stay much longer because I like, I found a group of persons and then afterwards we went to get gelato which was heavenly heavenly the gelato was just so heavenly this is new york cheesecake and it was just so good i really wish i could have stayed longer at this point because they were planning to do stuff in the morning but i was leaving in the morning this was i think about either 5 30 or 6 in the morning i had to go and get another collectivo to get to the other station and then from the other station to the airport and this was really early in the morning but you know I, I had a really good time in Tulum I would definitely 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 go back to Tulum um, the other station 
this is the other station and uh, Lizzo, let me tell you guys a story where to get to the other state you see that man running across there a while ago i was following this man from my gut off um downtown or wherever you call that and listen we walk 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 and couldn't find the station and now i am not look like him sure where i go but me and follow behind him because him have suitcase for me and say i must airport him and go but i did follow behind him and we got to the other station he stopped and asked one person uh, but we did make it to the station and I got something to eat, jumped on the bus and headed to the airport. But the airport story is a whole different story. Check out my vlog or my review on traveling with Arajet. But I would definitely go back to Mexico. Definitely. Um, thank you guys for listening to me and watching me so far. Have you ever been to Mexico? Let me know. And... Uh, yeah, don't forget to like. Oh, this is me arriving back in Jamaica. I did stop in DR, but all of those, it was no long stay in DR, okay? It was just a, a switch, switch over, layover, whatever you want to call it. But thank you guys for watching so far. Don't forget to like, comment, and come back. Check out my other vlogs and stay tuned for the reviews of the hostels. Bye!